What's up, baby, Bible paying Today we're in 2018 number seven, Punnett Squares and Fitness. The tongue sole fish, sex is determined by a combination of genetics and environmental temperature. Genetically male fish have two Z chromosomes, and genetically female fish have one Z and one W chromosome. When the fish are raised at 22 degrees Celsius, ZZ fish develop into phenotypic males and ZW fish develop into phenotypic females. However, when the fish are raised at 28 degrees Celsius, the Z chromosome is modified to denote as a Z star. Z star W individuals develop as phenotypic males that are fertile and can pass on the Z star chromosome to their offspring, even when the offspring are raised at 22 degrees Celsius. A cross between a ZW female and a Z star male is shown in the Punnett square below. So they've given us this Punnett square, and they're now going to ask us to do something with it. So we need to predict the percent of phenotypic males among the F1 offspring of the cross shown in the Punnett square if the offspring are raised at 22 degrees Celsius. So we're going to look at our little quick facts that we wrote down from reading the prompt. And now we have to figure out what these different individuals in the Punnett square they gave us are. So Z star Z is going to be a male. Z star W will be a male. Um, Z Z is going to be a male. And then Z W would be a female. So that means that I have a 75% chance of having a phenotypic male due to this cross. And so the student said the percent of phenotypic males among the F1 offspring of the cross. Um, I don't know what that says. The Punnett square, if the offspring are raised at 20 degrees Celsius, is 75 degrees I and mean 75%. <laughs> So B says at least one Z or Z star chromosome is necessary for survival of the fish. A researcher crosses two fish and observes a two to one ratio of males to females among the offspring. Based on the information, identify the genotypic, uh, the genotype of the male parrot in the cross. So based on the fact that I see this a two to one ratio, I know that one of them has died. And the only reason why one of them would not be able to survive is if they had two W chromosomes. OK, so that tells me that this individual right here must be WW and did not survive. So that tells me that the parent must have a W chromosome as their second allele. OK, now we know that females are a ZW. Um, and so then we can kind of fill in a little bit of that and say, OK, well, that ZW would be our female. And since I need to somehow get a male, at least specifically two males, um, and I need to have a male that the female is crossing with, that gives me a Z star W here to be my male. So Z star W, then when I cross it, I get a male there, and I get a male there. That gives me my two to one ratio of males to females. Um, so my uh, father or the male would be the Z star W in this cross. Now, it says to determine one fitness cost to the female of mating this particular male. And the problem with that is that one fourth of her offspring are not going to survive. So fewer offspring will develop and survive. One fourth of the offspring will be predicted to die. And some of the offspring will have a Z star, or all of her males will have a Z star chromosome. And that means that further down the line, there's going to be a reduction in um, development of the offspring. So the student says the genotype of the male parent is Z star W. So they got that point. A fitness cost of female of mating with this particular male would be that only 75% of their offspring will survive as 25% of the offspring will have a genotype of WW, um, which in turn shows the reduction of the offspring survival. So I hope that was helpful. Remember, A2 Biopain is a direct success. Bye, y'all.